Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. Women everywhere, every day, suffer from it. They may be beside you at the market or at the coffee shop. It's the Bridal Blues. We now pronounce you husband and wife. You get this one special day. Now what? It's that feeling of sadness and letdown after your wedding day when you realize you'll never be a bride again. The thing is, people are going to start to think you're cuckoo bananas. When Sarah's bridal blues got out of control, we headed to therapist Hannah McCormick to seek some help. We are gathered here today not for your wedding. I kind of look at other brides, and when they're getting married, I'm kind of jealous, and I don't like them. Is this normal? Bridal blues is very normal. Apparently so. I did experience bridal blues. Absolutely, 100%. I actually cried at the end of my wedding. I was so upset that it was over. Bridal blues, bridal blues, bridal blues, bridal blues, bridal blues. I sit at home in my wedding dress. And her hubby, his job is to fluff my train out behind me. <laughs> What is going on here? Because it's a, a chapter of your life that's closing. It's a little bit sad when it's done. And why do they feel so much sadness? It's not much the wedding. It was the creative energy and planning. And the fix. You have to take all that energy and that passion and put it into something new. So create some new goals. You could put it towards nesting, setting up a house. Or what Sarah did, hold a Bridal Blues focus group. I actually started planning other people's weddings. <laughs> Since then, I've actually decided to take up wedding planning. This seems crazy. That's right, Aubrey. And for my wedding, I had wedding amnesia. I was not drunk at my wedding. I remember my ceremony to a T, and then it's a blur. The emotional part of your brain takes over, so the executive functioning, which is all at the front of your brain, it helps you make memories that have detail. It kind of shuts down because you're flooded with all these neurotransmitters firing, like dopamine and serotonin. Yep, thank goodness for videographers and photographers. One of the things I like to suggest to couples is to create a memory jar, and what you do is you take little pieces of paper and you write down certain events or things from your wedding that you loved, and you put them all in a jar and then when you're feeling sad or you want to think happy thoughts about your wedding you can pull out one or at Sarah's wedding I loved the Italian bartenders you don't have bridal blues Aubrey I also recommend creating like a shadow box of maybe your invitation and certain things from your wedding I'm still kind of mad at my wedding planner for screwing up on the day if the wedding has been your focus since you were a little girl and you were dreaming of all the ways that it would occur and happen in this perfect world, inevitably something's going to go wrong. If you try to make it perfect, it's not going to be and you're going to be disappointed. And how potent is this wedding planning stuff? I can't wait to plan my vow renewal. I would jump at the chance to redo my wedding. So what should I channel my energy into now? Finding Aubrey a husband and planning her wedding. Oh no. For Shaw TV, we're the wedding bells.